So, so where are you from? I'm actually originally, um, I'm, I'm from Barrow and Furness, which is in the Lake Districts, but I was brought up in Birkenhead. Yes. Which is over the water from Liverpool. All right. Um, basically, when I was young, uh, 16, 17, I was in the Navy, travelled the world and that. Yeah, yeah. So and, and then you came back here? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've uh, been tempted to write a book, but I haven't got round to doing it yet. I'm, yeah. um, I don't know, maybe one day. Yeah, yeah. Why uh, did you come back here? Do you uh, like uh, Liverpool? Or? Yeah, yeah, well, basically, um, what it was is me, I finished, you know, up in the Navy and that, and I just came ashore and yeah. basically I've been ever since. All right, and how old were you when you came? Um, I was 16 when I left, and when I come back to Liverpool, I was 22. All right, okay. So, and, and uh, you come here every day to, to sing? Um, well, mostly every day, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some days I'll have one day off a week, uh, say Monday or Tuesday, depending on which day I pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. And um, and the rainy days, are you staying on the street yeah. or you go inside singing? No, or? no well, on the rainy days I even sing as well. I like singing in the rain. Really? Not that I don't know the song that well, <laughs> so, but I do like it. Yeah. What's your favorite song to, to um, that you sing on the street? Um, I'd say my favorite song was Rock Around the Clock. Really? Yeah. Yeah. By it, Bill Haley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock Around yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and it, can you do us around Yes. Yeah. I will do. Uh, yeah. Okay. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two. Three and four, we'll be going strong and yell for more. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. Rock, rock, rock till the broad daylight. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. All right, thank you. Do, do you have like um, uh, songs that you know that I'll sing that one, then it's going to get me more money? Or? Um, no, I mean, I can do... I think people like funny ones, like I do Bare Necessities from the Jungle League. And... Um, and the King of the Swingers, he has them, you know, laughing and joking. It's it's funny. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, you know, they're rendition that. You know what I mean? So my, my sort of act is really more based on impressionism than actually singing and dancing. It's impressions. Yeah. Well, yeah. Of a sort. Do you do you sometimes like do not sing and only play guitar? Uh, no, I can't really play the guitar. Uh, you use it as, a, as an it's extra? It's a prop. Yeah, a prop, prop. all right, yeah. okay. Um, there's been lots of things in the news uh, lately in Liverpool. Um, mm. Do you kind of follow that, like about the Hillsborough uh, uh, tragedy? And uh, yeah, I don't really uh, follow it. I mean, myself, like my friend's um, brother or cousin or a friend of mine was in that. Really? And he yeah. survived or he dies? He died. Oh, really? So, but I can't, like, you know, it's a friend of a friend of a friend. It's yeah. like a long way, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, like, close sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. You ever buy The Sun? <laughs> what? The Sun, the newspaper? The Sun, uh, not really, no. I'm not really one for buying papers or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, I've got Virgin and I just um, watch the news on there. Yeah, yeah. There and everything like that. Do you find Liverpool hard to live in uh, as a city? No, no, it's quite easy, really. Yeah, yeah. How come? Is it? It's just a very simple city. People don't like uh, judge you in any shape or form. They just enjoy themselves for what they are. Yeah. They never judge us. I think it's wrong to judge anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we're all just human beings at the end of the day. Yeah. Doesn't matter what, where we're from, who we are, we're human beings. Yeah, that's my All right. big uh, question. Yeah. As I say, I was in the Merchant Navy for two years, uh, six years. I worked on the QE2 for a couple of years. You know, the Queen Elizabeth, the, Q yeah, the yeah, liners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I worked on there. Uh, what, what did you do when you... Uh, I was a waiter, work? waiting yeah. on, and doing things like that. Yeah, so you've been travelling a lot. Yes, yeah. yeah. Travelled all over the world. Yeah, do you like travelling? I used to, but um, it, it sort of... You know, stop down now. Like, you know, I mean, I don't really travel anymore much. Yeah. And how old are you? I am 53. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for the interview. Okay. Okay. No problem. Um,
I think also um, I wanted to ask, we have a, a show here um, in the Blue Coat Gallery, you know where that is, here around the corner? Yeah. Um, at 5 p.m., if you would like to come uh, and uh, perhaps sing a song or something. Um, I'm usually gone by 3 o'clock, yeah? unfortunately, but... You leave at, uh, at yeah. 3 and then go back? Uh, yeah, go back yeah. at 3. All right, if you ever would like to, I mean, there will be some people sitting, so you could get some money uh, okay. also, but... At 5 o'clock? At 5 p.m., yeah. yeah okay. It's like, um, you enter, what's you know called the... the side, yeah. School Lane, it's on the side, you know where Primark is? Oh, yeah. And you go down and you see the Blue Coat building? Yeah. Just through, go into the Blue Coat. Okay. Okay, if, if you, you can, if you like it, it, if you like, I'm gonna stay today a little bit yeah. longer. You're very much welcome to to come and uh, well, sing and I will do, do some but songs. Say, I've got to get home home because my partner's waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. As you know. And where is she? So. She now? She's at home. Yeah. Okay. She's waiting for me to come home. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, d perhaps one more question. How much do you make a day? Almost um, like it roughly, it varies. You can make. As little as ten pound, or as much as thirty. Oh, wow, thirty. Yeah. Oh, that's the, definitely a good day then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it kind of varies between yeah. those. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. For, oh no, I have one more question. I remember. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. put one in. Um, is um, there was a, a time that I believe the councillor uh, wanted to to uh, that you had to pay a fee for busking. Uh, I think that is actually in a place at the moment. I think it's really? twenty pound a year, and then you have to pay a public liability insurance as well. Um, I don't know how much. That's about two million public liability. But you don't obviously pay that kind of money. It's just a cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a cover. Where, where are you going to find two million quid from? <laughs> Just a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. and and that's on right now. Yeah, you think. Yeah. And you have that, or it's um, some people well, they I don't, or they do, or uh, some do and some don't. I've yeah. only got the forms at the moment, and I haven't even got them on me. Yeah. So, so what that's happens? That's a hush-hush thing. Yeah. <laughs> and what happens if like police uh, pass by? You um, don't? They don't really bother me anymore. They used to. Yeah. They tried to say uh, it was begging at one point, but it's not. They yeah, yeah. Of me. course. They just try it on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they think. They've got to think of some kind of thing they can nick you on, so they try begging, yeah. but it's not. And how's, how's the relationship with the cops right it's now? It's, it's fine. good. It's fine. They know you and you know them a yes. little bit like that. Yeah. Have you ever been arrested? Did they ever kind uh, of take you uh, no, to only, the office? Only, yeah, um, strangely enough, a couple of years ago, I was doing carol singing over in, in this car, carol singing. I got arrested on Christmas Day for begging. Really? Singing carols, it got thrown out of court. No, but that's silly, that. Yeah. Well, you had to go to Ridiculous. court even. Yes. Yeah, and then they didn't. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they just threw the case out in the end. Yeah. It wasn't going to stand. They weren't going to get a, a conviction, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Ridiculous. Yeah. Anyway, I've got to get going. Yeah, you have to, yeah, also do your, your work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. No uh, my problem. name is Peter. What's your name? Peter. Yeah? Also Peter? Yeah, also Peter. No. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> and I'm from Liverpool, yeah? Yeah. So you've been doing this work for a long time? No, since the beginning of the... Just before the school holidays, I came out to do this. Really? Yes, yeah. Um, so you've been doing this... I mean, obviously you, you know how to do it, so you've been the painter for a long time. No, no, no. I started, I started painting about two and a half months ago, really. I'm a, I'm a sculptor, mainly. Really? Yes, yeah. And uh, I had I had a job that was postponed, so I had to do something fast, really. So it was out of desperation that I came out doing this. Yeah. Um, so I had a painting that I'd sort of, a copy of a Rubens that I'd worked on in the studio, but it'd be like an hour every three months or something. Yeah. And so I brought it out here and finished it off on the street and I've, I've just been doing this ever since. Yeah. So for two and a half months now I've been doing street art, uh, pavement art yeah. in Liverpool and it's took me over to Edinburgh for the Fringe Festival and a brief stint, I had a quick visit to Glasgow and York as well doing it. Yeah. So it's a new line of work for me really, so I'm, yeah. having, I'm having to learn to paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's kind. Of, so you you started doing this as a kind of necessity. To yes, yeah. Yeah. It was it was it was either that or I don't know, get a job in Tesco's or something. So yeah. This then way, the choice was quickly made. Yes, yeah. 
Yeah. And, I, and I'll take a lot of influence from the Renaissance and Baroque eras as well as uh, classical Greece mm. and the Roman civilization, all those sort of types of art. So this gave me an opportunity to um, stand on the shoulders of giants really and learn from the old yeah. masters. And that's that's why I'm, I'm doing it's these. kind of a learning yeah. process and, and uh, yes, yeah. yeah, because they're uh, I mean they're exceptional design and composition, yeah, and uh, their their paintings or works of art that um, I am influenced by. So I mean as well as that, I go home at night and I, or in the mornings I do my own work in the studio, yeah, um, and then I'm doing this at the moment. Thank you to uh, just to pay the bills really and stay afloat. Yeah. So I mean Liverpool people are helping me. Tread water and, and yeah. uh, keep going. Really, so is it? Is it? Does it go well? I mean, like money-wise, is it? Yeah, I mean, if you dictate it by the weather. Yeah. So the minute it starts raining, and you have to pack up. Yeah. Um, and as well, even if you carry, thank you, and even if you carried on working in the rain, uh, people don't really want to stand and, and watch. So um, it is literally as soon as the sun comes out, you, you try and get out on chair streets as quickly as possible and, yeah. and make the most of it really. I see you're working on, so you're, you're, it's a black and white and then you make the colour, is it yes, something that's in your head already? Or? No, well, well I'm more comfortable with doing this side of it, this is more the drawing side of it because as a sculptor I've learned more about drawing than anything else, Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's known as underpainting. Underpainting. Uh, underpainting, yeah, it's a very traditional way of painting where you you get all the shadows and all the lights, uh, you get all that worked out and you just yep. do it in monochromatic terms. So you're working in um, highlights, shadows, uh, so you're working in tone, light tones and dark tones. Uh, and when you've, when you've done all that, you start to introduce warm colours and cold colours. So um, first of all, you make a division. You get the silhouette done, you get the outline in, then you make a division between light and absence of light. So once you've decided on that, you can then work on the, the grey areas, if you like, the mid-tones, and then you introduce colour, so you'd start to have warmer colours in the lighter areas and cooler colours in the darker areas where the yep. shadow, and then you build it up, build up the layers from there. Wow. So it, it's a learning curve for me as well. So. Yep. Who better to learn from than people like Leonardo, the, ch the children <laughs> yeah. of the Renaissance? You know? Who better than to learn from? There's room on their horse, really. They can, uh, they can show yeah. me a lot. So. I, last time I saw you working, um, there was also some young people, like like from the streets, who were like talking to you. So you probably also get to know a lot of uh, people who walk around. And yeah, I, I think you do. Yeah, um, yeah. There's people who come by each day, or people who come by each week or every other couple of weeks, um, both people who are visiting the city and people who are local to the city and from all walks of life as well. It's, um, yeah. It is, it's, it's good actually. People are very, uh, even if they don't always give money, people are very generous in what they say, they're very encouraging. And uh, um, I think if you did something that wasn't very good, they'd be quick to tell you as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happens good... sometimes. Uh, people say, yeah, oh, yeah, I don't oh, like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you haven't got that nose right. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's a good level, really. It keeps your feet firmly on the ground. Yeah. Um, and the thing about the kids is it's just sort of evolved. I'd done a lot of work for many years. I was involved in teaching. I was, yeah. I was a school teacher before I embarked on a career as an artist. Um, and so I always invite, and it's being interactive really, getting people to more involved. So when I see a young person, I just say, you know, would you like to go painting? And, and uh, I just mark some areas out for them and then show them a little bit about how to use a brush and away they go. So, yeah, yeah. And it, it just gives them something to um, think about as well. And uh, I always say to them, you know, if you get a sketchbook, come down, I'll draw a little lesson in it for you. You can go away and have a go at that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, who knows? Uh, yeah, so how, are the kids like in Liverpool, are they kind of, uh, um, I don't know, I'm, uh, the question is a bit weird, I, I guess, but... Uh, same, kids are the same all over it. Thank you, yeah. thanks very much. Kids are the same all over, really. They, they always want to learn, they always want to have a go at something. Yeah. They've always, they've always got a sense of fun and willing to try things, so... Um, I mean, what is funny sometimes is you say, would you like a go? And then they shake their heads and they clutch the leg of their parents. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but then they'll see another child have a go. 
and then they go, oh, all right, I'll have a go at that. You know, they, they come round to it. Then. Yeah. So, I mean, that's something I'd like to work on as well. Really, maybe the interactive side. Yeah. Um, Sorry? No, no. Cheers. So yeah, it's a good way of, and also sometimes there's other artists come by as well. And yeah, I've met a lot of people. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Um, you know, you can never judge a book by its cover either. You just no. don't know. It's, you just you don't you don't know who you're talking to as well. It's, um, has it changed a lot, Liverpool? I mean, has it, you know it pre pretty well, I guess. Uh, like over the years, did well, it change I, a lot? I haven't lived here all. I haven't lived in Liverpool constantly. Sometimes I've been away for a number of years. Yeah. Um, has it changed a lot? Uh, probably has, like any other city, really, hasn't it? It's, uh, oh my it's God, that's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Do you think Liverpool's changed a lot? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. In what way? Yeah, it has changed a lot. Yeah, like more the centre, or uh, because it's, this is pretty new, everything. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. just like. It just has changed. Yeah. In a good way. That's a microphone. It's for television. Oh. But, whoop. <laughs> Sorry. What, what you, channels you, I think. On? No, well, it's not going on a channel. It's for the biannual. But if you don't want to be on it. I, yeah. I, I have to say, I mean, I'm a bit critical of the Liverpool One project because, I mean, doing this uh, became involved with the. Uh, um, situation with Liverpool City Council where they tried to uh, bring in a licensing scheme for buskers and yeah, street yeah. entertainers, street artists. So I literally came in as that as that was taking place. So um, I yeah and, um, it was things like no under 18 is allowed to perform. So although you're old enough to die for your country you're not allowed to play a guitar on, on the high street. Um, it was things like to do this I had to book a week in advance. Health really? and safety meant you couldn't use chalks on the pavement. Um, so the traditional idea of drawing on the pavement. No so that wasn't allowed? Wasn't allowed, yeah. Um, and, and reading between the lines, most of the council people that are, I spoke to who were on the ground uh, said, look, you know, I haven't a clue about this. I don't agree with it. And I think it was their chiefs that were instigating it, really. So there's a number of things, really, and they were... Uh, they were playing into the hands of the retailers, really. The council yeah. were working with the retailers. So, it, yeah, they, um, they're kind of saying, like, oh, the retailers don't want it, and then that's why we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the moment, we we managed to get a high court order stop uh, suspending it, and it may go to court in two months' time, uh, sometime in October. But either that or they drop it. Um, yeah. So, we'll have to see. Um, so it, it's nice to think of it as public space, really, as it should be. Um, and if, I mean, some days you can come along here and you'll see Mexican pan pipes, American magicians, um, African acrobats, um, skiffle, local skiffle bands by 15, 16 year olds. Um, not just me, there's other pavement artists as well who come out. And then you've got your statues and your mime artists. And then there was a puppeteer, a guy from Belgium also. Um, yeah. So I think if you if you had to sign up to a licensing scheme, then you would have to, for example, if you were from out of town, you'd have to go to the municipal buildings, give an ID, three forms of ID, photo ID, and, um, and it would take away the spontaneity of it really. Um, so I didn't I didn't feel it was thought through. The thing polices itself. I'll just have to grab that. Oh, yeah. In other words, I mean, the, the city wardens seem to run it quite well. If somebody, there's already rules in place. If somebody's causing an obstruction or has antisocial behaviour, there's already rules, the law, laws of the land, that, that, that could move a busker on. Um, and also the city licensing laws, as far as I know it, I mean, the bits that I've read, it says, there's, there's, uh, because the licensing scheme is, is um, it's the same sort of thing that I think a taxi driver or a doorman might use it. Yeah. Some kind of, uh, and it says on it. It says in the in the details of it. It says this licensing scheme does not include carol singers, buskers, and puppet shows. So it didn't it didn't cater for oh, really? the street artists now. So, 
let's hope that uh, everyone can just work together and it doesn't need, it's not something else that needs to be put in a box it doesn't need jurisdiction yeah. let's see so we'll see um, I mean uh, People. And how, how did you organise uh, to, to go against it? Uh, it like was a guy called Christian, Christian Eriksson, who's a journalist, and Johnny Walker, who's a, a well-known street busker along here, who'd been busking for a number of years, and those two, those two guys were instrumental in putting it together. Yep. And they set up a movement called ASAP, Association of Street Artists and Performers. Um, and so it was largely done through that, that, yep. work, that framework, really. Yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see what's the space. Otherwise, I'll be travelling and coming to Belgium. So yeah. In there. <laughs> well, in Belgium, it's definitely allowed and it's good fun. <laughs> it is allowed. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, excellent. yeah. Excellent. Well, I must go over there. Yeah, yeah. Go over there. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much oh, for uh, the conversation. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, it's nice. Do you know if Johnny Walker is still? Uh, Somewhere he's, playing, not, he's no. based. He's based either in London or Leeds. Oh, he's in France at the moment playing a festival. So. Yeah, there's a lot of festivals in, in, yeah. in, in France. Well, he's yeah. very much. He does sort of Beatlesque sort of things. He does sort of 60s and 70s sort of folk Beatles sort of music. So he gets yeah. since playing in Liverpool. He's been invited over to a number of Beatles festivals on the continent. Yeah, so, um, that's great. Well, you may you may see a few other entertainers out today. Yeah, we just spoke to uh, Peter, uh, the guy with the guitar, who oh, doesn't yeah. play the guitar. He makes more than me. <laughs> <laughs> so in, ter in terms of the biennial, they have, you know, you have the, the Fringe Festival, the Fringe Biennial, yeah. what's it called, the Independence? Uh, is the one in, what? Yes. The Independence. Yeah. The Independence. And a, so that, because uh, a lot of local artists wanted to sort of try and have their say during this international festival, so that one seems to run quite well. Hello, love. I was looking at the and I think it's good. Yeah, well, it might be. <laughs> no, honestly, um, I am the little Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much, love. Thank you. What's your name? Dorothy. Dorothy? Yeah. Alright, I'll look out for you. No, honestly, well, I'm staying afloat, so who knows what will happen. What's your name? Phil. Well, I'll say it's this while they just came. Oh, thanks. Thank you. My authority. Take care. People are very, very nice, very kind, you know, very, yeah. and very supportive, really. It's low Liverpool people are, are helping me. Is, is this because also because you're staying at the street for like a certain time? Like, you're not walking by you, you, because you sit here and people come uh, by themselves to you? or? Yes, well, well. Sometimes you get a crowd around you, sometimes other people just come past on their own uh, and say hello. Some people are on their way to work or on the lunch hour, sometimes they don't stop, you know, they'll say hello, give you a nod and off they go. Um, and then other people watch and they say, oh, I've been watching you do this one for the last few days um, and they see it develop. And then, uh, and, then, and then you get, I've had sort of 0.9% of people saying you're a phony and you, <laughs> you don't do these. You, you bring in a canvas and you just paint over the top <laughs> because because I'm building up successive layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just they seem to think I'm. Well, that's a compliment without them knowing I, it. I, I think it is really, and and if I was, that would show some kind of initiative, I'm sure. So, <laughs> yeah. So sure. with this one, I did this. I did everything on this one from scratch because yeah. it's it is easier sometimes to draw the outline out in the studio standing up and yeah, yeah, play, it plays on the back and the knees you see doing this so. they probably think it's even different i mean they probably think that you already had a copy somewhere yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah. i can you know i can assure that lady that i don't I, yeah. I do them all they're all my own work with the exception of the kids yeah you know and that's why i've got these big knee pads yeah yeah of course yeah i can feel it yeah. yeah of course uh, All right. So it's a new avenue. So this is the Fringe Fringe Festival. In <laughs> <laughs> the Fringe Fringe. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. We have a, a talk show in the evenings at 5 p.m. here at the Blue Coat. If you oh, ever yeah. feel like coming by and talk is about it your night? work, is it's it every night. night. Okay, um, I'll call up the until street. on Friday. So if you would be out. Yes.
Well, often I work till six. If the oh, weather's right. Good. But I'll come over here. Yeah, yeah it's um, drink a coffee and then yeah, we can talk good. a little bit. It would be very nice to Superb, do so. Yeah, yeah. You've got your card. Yeah. Oh, great. So I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, and all yeah. that sort of stuff. So yeah. stay in very touch. Very nice. I can always give you a ring or something. Yeah, of course. Drink yeah. coffee. Of course, yeah. That would be yeah, very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm What's Peter. Your name? Peter. Good to meet you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank yeah. you. Can I just ask you to sign this just to say it's oh, okay to you? I yeah, am. She I'm, is. I'm the silent people. See, I'm Belgian. Do I look Belgian? <laughs> Do I look Belgian? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Of course. Oh, good. Maybe I'll start looking like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Do I speak like y'all? Y'all? Yes, Paul. Yes. <laughs> nice painting. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> you have to work on that. I will. You know I will. <laughs> Are you, still, are you doing all right, are you? Yeah, well, you know, it's always good to have more clients. It's not actually, people think it's an actual TV station, but it's the fact that it's got a lot of cards and media, it runs a lot of media courses, and... What's the date? Um, 16. No, I'll be happy as well. It's like a studio, isn't it? Yeah, there's loads of different studios yes. in there, and there's a main studio inside oh, okay, as well. Good. well me on your mail and this and all that so I know about Fantastic. Oh no, that's, come on, stick it on anything on that one we just signed it. But I will, have you got an email address? Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got yeah, I've yeah, I've got a card. Yeah, I've got a card. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make a note of that, okay? Right. Lovely, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you have, like, like uh, one more question for me too. Yeah, yeah. Do you think why they want to kind of um, um, make it more strict for the buskers? Like, why would they do that, the rules? and? Uh, Maybe it's just money, isn't it? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm self-employed, so I, I pay tax, so I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, they say it's... You see, like, if you look at Liverpool 1, it's private property, isn't it? So, in effect, if you start messing around there, you can be done for trespassing or something like that. I feel maybe they're trying to take ownership of public space um, for the sake of the retail sector or... Yeah. I think maybe it could be something to do with land ownership further on down the line, but well, I could be wrong about that. I might yeah. just be Is a, this like Liverpool one? Is this like no, privately Liverpool owned? That, the, over there. Over there. And that's thing. privately owned or? Yeah, the, the um, oh, Duke of Westminster. Okay. He owns it. Duke and of it, but it yeah. Yeah. Does he own also like the streets? Like, no, like, not no, this street. Of course. No, no. But no, I mean over there he does. So yeah. he didn't get a 999 year lease. He only got a 99 one. 99 Are you year recording? Lease. Oh, sorry, no. I yeah. thought you said finished. No, 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 no. Just oh. because I, I want to know about Liverpool oh, one, how okay. it's, it's working. I, I don't really go in there. I feel it's a little bit sanitised myself as a, as a space. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, they have like the Gunter van Hagen and Anatomy exhibition at the moment. It's 14 quid ago. So it's quite expensive, that really. Yeah. Um, and in effect, it is private lands, so um, I'm a bit. Due, I'm, I'm, for me to walk around it, I feel it's a bit sanitised. It doesn't. I don't respond to it well. Here, it's a bit more spontaneous. I like yeah. Street. A, a lot of old, a lot of old school Liverpool people don't go to Liverpool one. Mm. Yeah. They still yeah. prefer Church Street, Bold yeah. Street, and all. Yeah. Is it, you can feel already like the difference that that's kind of a private, and this is still public kind of uh, area. Um, I can, yeah, I can. I mean, I'm a fan of buildings as they are. I like stone and brick buildings. I don't even like plastic fascias on, on, on beautiful old buildings, really. Yeah. Um, and to see something like that made out of glass and steel and it's shaped by price, costing and function alone, um, I feel is, uh, it's, it's not for me, anyway. It's not yeah. for me. All right. No, it's okay. Thank you All very right. much. So, um, uh, you're here at in, in Liverpool One. Are you here every day? 
Not every day, probably on the weekends. Usually Only on the, the weekends, weekends yeah. and like Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, usually. And and I see you have like a lot of flyers. What yeah. is it, why, what is uh, it for? Y y this is this for all Islam flyers, just to actually get um, more information out to the public about Islam. Because, you know, there's a lot of um, yeah. you know misconceptions about what Islam is and what's... You know, we see a lot of things on the news. So this is just to clear up these misconceptions and so that people actually know what Islam really is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and is it uh, working for you? Is it? Uh, do you get a good response of the people here? Uh, yeah, people are generally quite nice and they're very polite, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, usually, yeah, and then people sometimes just stop and talk and they, and they listen, you know, it's, and nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. usually quite good, yeah. yeah. This is one of the examples. One brother over there is um, talking to some um, yeah. Well, yeah, people on the streets. Oh uh, uh, yeah, and he's explaining. Uh, yeah, about Islam. What, and, yeah, yeah. yeah any information? So you guys are from Belgium? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, first time here was it? Uh, no, second time. Second okay, time. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you, you're from here. You've yeah, born li here. Yeah, in I, yeah I was, I've been here for the last ten years, and I was born, and I was, and I used to live in Manchester before then. Oh ah, yeah. And okay. Well, yeah. So it's because uh, Liverpool and Manchester are quite different cities. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you like Liverpool more now, or? I, I'm actually, I'm actually a university student in from Manchester as well. I actually, I actually commute from Liverpool to Manchester. Oh. So, so, I, so actually. I know the cities, both cities, quite well. Yeah. But yeah, this city is nice, you know, very nice city. It's got, it's got good, um, it's got good culture. It's got a nice yeah. um, communities. You know, I've got, I've got a good community over here as well. Yeah, it's yeah. Very nice, you know. But you've been living here in, in yes, Liverpool for ten here years for now. Ten, yeah, last ten years. And yeah. is it uh, a hard city to live in, or hard? I mean, like, is it difficult to live here, or no, everything going very no, it's well? Fine, it's, it's good. Yeah. yeah. All right. And what do you study? Uh, medicine. Medicine. Yeah. Medicine, yeah. yeah. How, how, how many years is it here? Um, it's five years. Five, five year years course minimum. Five and year then you minimum. have to go uh, work and study at yeah, the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And then then you got two years foundation and then two years um, uh, speciality after that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and you, you're also from Liverpool? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I was born here when my my dad was studied here in '82. And yeah. then after he finished, we, yeah, I'm from Malaysia originally, to be honest. Yes, and, and which part, of, uh, which country from Malaysia? Malaysia. Malaysia, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, I was um, studying here as well, uh, but I just finished master now, so I've been living in Liverpool about uh, seven years now. Yeah, and what did you study? Um, architecture. Architecture, yeah. and you uh, you work as an architect now? Uh, no, actually, I've just finished a um, master in the July. Ah, um, in July. So, in summer, yeah. so, so you have to start so looking, for, yeah. start looking for a job now. Yeah. Is it difficult for architects in Liverpool? Uh, since the since the economic crisis two two years ago, it was um, the economy was a bit down and the construction field was a bit um, not running smoothly. So it, it's not quite many jobs to be honest nowadays. Uh, but uh, there's there's quite lo lots of jobs in London, but not in Liverpool. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, and are you planning to to move uh, from from Liverpool? Uh, well, actually, my wife um, works here. She's she's a doctor, so we are oh. waiting for her. <laughs> we are waiting for her to finish her um, specialty, and then um, we probably go back to Malaysia. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> and and but. Um, you were born here. I, I was, yeah. I was born here because my dad was uh, studied here. Yeah. So. Uh, and and your wife is also from Malaysia. My wife is from Malaysia. Yeah. yeah also, and we, so we met here when she was uh, studied here as well. She. I, and did, was she born here? No, no. She she was born in oh, Malaysia. Yeah, okay, so she knows Malaysia probably better than you do. Uh, not really, because we we both came at more almost at the same time. He came, uh, she came here about 2003, and I came about. Um, uh, 2004 so ah, it's more okay, or less okay. uh, we met here during our undergraduate study okay. so we, we, we've been living here since then yeah what what would you say is one of um, the the uh, most uh, misconception about Islam that uh, you want to to talk to to people I think I think people just generally don't know what Islam is about I mean you see so much uh, negative press on the news mm -hmm. um, I, I think this, this is just here we just here just so that we can clear up uh, if there's any questions that people have, uh, any kind of, like say, any kind of different, like any kind of things inside their mind that they want to talk about, discuss, we're here for them to actually be able yeah. to talk about that. It's kind of an openness. You, it is open, yeah. It's open. Yeah. It's open yeah. yeah. Do you have sometimes negative reactions from people here? Um, so far, I don't think so. Yeah, no. No, no everybody. Yeah, yeah, everyone's quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, yeah, very polite. Very yeah, polite. If, yeah. They, yeah. if they don't want to listen, they just um, pass by. But if n n yeah. No, nothing, no abuse, no nothing at all. Did you um, follow in the media now because there was this uh, uh, Islam movie yeah. in the States that they... What's, yeah. How do you feel about yeah. that? 
Uh, I mean, to be honest, I, I've been quite busy with the last, <laughs> la, la, last day, you know. So I literally just, I literally came off on the weekend and just sort of just tried yeah. to catch up with it. But uh, yeah, you, you, yeah, you I, haven't I, seen it all. I, yeah. I, I haven't seen. I mean, I've seen the reactions. Um, yeah. But I haven't actually see, heard much about the movie. Yeah, yeah. I've and you? I've, I've, I've seen um, the the trailer about the the prophet, our beloved prophet uh, Muhammad, so on and uh, It was being portrayed by a very not a good man, evil man, and doing not not. It was blasphemy, to be honest. It's nothing like that um, mm -hmm. because he is a prophet of God. So yeah, yeah. The, the 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 thing that being portrayed in the in the movie is not is not true at all. Of course, um, of so, but but the thing that has been done, like um, the killing of the, the the family of the, but we didn't we don't we don't even know if that's um, that family is do as as did the movie, but but um, the killing it was is was not the teaching of Islam as well. So, I, I don't I don't think um, is 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 the right thing to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, do you know Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? You know, it, one of his stories is that um, you know. There used to be a woman he used to live next to in Mecca, a neighbor. And this woman, every day, she would throw um, some kind of ne needles and thorns in his path. And every day without fail. <laughs> and then one day, Rasulullah noticed that the thorns went on the path. And he knocked on the door and, she, and he asked, you know, you know are, are you okay? You know, have, have you actually, you know, asking about her with it? And she found out he was, she was ill. Ah. And and so and then he was actually asking about her and seeing whether she was okay or not. So this is the teaching of Rasulullah Sallam, uh, peace be upon him. He was actually very tolerant in terms of abuse, and he used to be called so many names. He used to be called liar. He used to be called the magician. He used to be called so, so many different names during during his time. So in the same time, this is what's happening here. I think what we need to understand is that pe the the reactions. It's it's not just because um, it's not just because they just felt like it. It's because they they see the Prophet and so Sallam, peace be upon him, as someone they love dearly, and and it's it's it's, it's sort of a reactive, a yes. reactive thing. But it's not. But the way they they went about it, for example, um, and this is on my own humble opinion. You know, this is, this is yeah, yeah, of, the, yeah, of the record, and this is on my own humble opinion. Is that it's, it shouldn't be killing other people, innocents, and uh, mm. and inside the Quran. There's 20 verses, 20 ayats about how you should not be killing people. You shouldn't be killing innocents. Any killing of innocents isn't right. Well, obviously, obviously, people are they're actually. You know, but but uh, so, but the killing of, of not innocents is is okay or? No, the the killing of innocent people. You know, the yeah. like the the people who actually who haven't actually been. Uh, well, the what, what do you think? Like, uh, well, no, I mean, I mean, what, 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 what do you mean? Like, there's like, no there's no proof at all that this guy has made the movie and. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. I understand, but, but what, what is? Uh, yeah. I understand you shouldn't be killing yeah, like yeah. like uh, people who who are innocent. Yeah. But what, uh, can you like kill people who aren't innocent? Like, like what do you mean? For example, I don't know when when aren't you innocent? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably if um, like in this country that probably if somebody's killed somebody's then they they ask this um, to be sentenced like uh, for the whole life, doesn't it? In the mm. prison. So that's 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 the thing of. Being, um, yeah. um, it being just this, that's, that's the thing that's neat. Uh, this. Yeah. So to be honest, like I myself, I'm just, I'm just a humble guy. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know too much, you know. But like, yeah. but we, what we do know is that the killing of innocent, the killing of someone, you know, who's not related, you know, someone who was like yeah. in, it was inside the uh, embassy and all this kind of thing. It, it, it's, it's clearly stated in the Quran that you shouldn't be killing people who, yeah. but not, you know, they are. Know. What 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 yeah. the Quran said is that um, if somebody harm us, we can defend ourselves, and if if in, if on cause of that, there's the kill. I mean, if killing happens on on cause of that, then um, it's not to our like um, intention. Yeah. So, but we 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 have been asked to like um, defend ourselves from um, our our like our um, things and ourselves. We have to defend uh, ourselves. Uh, say maybe like a robber or something. Yeah, like that. So yeah, yeah. Like a robber yeah, comes inside your house. So. Oh, you, but you don't go like, oh, please yeah. come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you try okay. and stop them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the teaching of Islam. It's very, very fundamental. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you very much no. for the interview. Okay, how, how's, how's, how's the interview been process been around here? 
Like, um, have you been trying to like? Uh, uh, we've seen uh, different people, uh, yeah. and which is very nice because mm. Liverpool has so many different uh, mm. cultures yeah, inside yeah. Mm. one city, mm. and that I really like. Also, I mean, uh, Muslim, mm. uh, Christians. Mm. You have the Anglican, you have the mm. Catholic. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. It's yeah. uh, to have all everybody living together. Yeah. yeah. So, it's it's. Um, You've been doing this uh, like every day. Or? Uh, yeah, no. yeah, we'll do it uh, for one week. We will do every day one mm. week. In the East City or only Liverpool? Uh, only Liverpool. It's only about Liverpool. All right. right. Yeah. Right. So to get Multicultural to know. Multicultural society, basically. You yeah. Are, the aim is to just show multi society yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. How they live together and how how the city is and. Good luck to you. Uh, where are you from originally? We are from Pakistan. Right? You're Pakistan, so Malaysia. Malaysia Sudan originally. Sudan. 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 Wow. Yeah, so yeah. multinational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you are from which country? Belgium. Oh, Belgium. Yeah. And you are? Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, yeah. 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 She's the real, real, <laughs> real <laughs> Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. What we'd like to ask you is if you had your own television show and you were the presenter of the show mm -hmm. and you could talk about something that you were really passionate about and something that you wanted to express mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. would you talk about? Wow <laughs> that's difficult <laughs> uh, uh, that's difficult <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a good starting point would be to think about some your interests. We've all got our um, interests mm -hmm. and passions, mm -hmm. something that inspires us. I'm interested us. in LGBT politics, so I'm originally from Istanbul. So my research focuses on Turkey and the LGBT cultures in Turkey. So uh, I don't know. I mean, my recent project is about the exoticization of same-sex intimate relations in the Middle East. So. Uh, I don't know, this is where my passion is. I'm a boring academic, so probably I would love to talk about these things in public, so that's it. <laughs> and obviously you were visiting the, um, the Biennial, which I'll, I will um, obviously ask you about, but perhaps you could maybe tell me about what's inspired you, why you're so passionate about this particular um, aspect that's, that you've talked about. That's actually quite close what I am doing. Uh, in my job, so I'm teaching art criticism and right. uh, film studies, media studies, cultural studies. So uh, that's why I came to Liverpool Biennial. So, uh, so th that's why to just uh, have get some inspiration, if possible. Yeah. How long have you been teaching? Uh, in the UK, you mean? Yeah. Seven years. Yeah. Seven years. Uh -huh. Excellent. And how have, have you how have you found the experience of the Biennial? Uh, I've been to better biennials, so that was somehow a bit disappointing this year, but uh, still, I mean, I just had some exciting moments in the city, so I'm in the biennial, but in general, uh, how can I say, I'm a bit neutral, I mean, I'm not that much impressed uh, as I was expecting it to be, so anyway. Could you explain that, why it is you're disappointed in terms of, is it, in compar is it simply because in comparison to other biennials you yeah, see? Yeah, I'm, you know, I, I already told you I'm coming from Istanbul and there is also a very big biennial event in Istanbul. So, uh, anyway, so, uh, so when I was coming here I just thought it, it would be, a, how can I say, as big as an event as it was in Istanbul. So. Uh, Anyway, so, uh, so that's it. I'm, I'm, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't talk about my disappointments about Biennial actually because uh, I still enjoyed it. So I, I'm, I'm here for three days. So it was nice. Still, is, yeah. <laughs> is there a particular piece of artwork that you are enchanted by in this Biennial? Uh, yes, the show in the fact, uh, the gallery fact, which was quite good actually so and I also uh, liked the idea that this collective called Cafe Valis uh, has organized in Edge Hill station so uh, I was there on Saturday so I will definitely come back to Liverpool to attend the other events the conversation pe uh, pieces that are organizing so um, what else uh, fact and I, I also have a very uh, I have an artist here which I admire, so his show is 
taking place in a gallery on Wood Street. Uh, a Berlin-based Singapore-born artist, Ming Wong. So I, of course, liked his, uh, his piece there. So what was it called? Making Chinatown, I guess. That's so, correct. Yeah, that was great. Uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah. I found, when I saw it, I found the quality of the filming and the camera very yeah. clear and precise. That's yeah. what drew me into it. Yeah. And made Actually, it's a part of a bigger project. Yeah. I mean, he likes just remaking all the other uh, film classics. So uh, I've seen the other work as well, and it's, it was beautiful, really, So to see it again <laughs> in Liverpool. What inspired it? What, the, the confetti business? Yes, what, what, tell me about the background of that. Okay. How that got women's liberation, wasn't it? Yes. yes. We, wanted, we didn't want to be sat at home while our husbands went out making all the money. I mean, we don't just bake pies. No, we're all women. We, we have home right. grown flowers, chrysanthemums, um, tulip, roses. Lily. Lily. Lily, Lily. Lily yes. Lily. For funerals, you know, confetti for the, for the funeral parlour, for when the casket goes. Mm. But the lilies are, are a specialist item. We haven't quite launched yet, so we don't want to discuss about I that. I just think it comes from not being... We're multitasking. I think yes, we should, yes, we are. You know, we're proud of being I mean, being what do you think, are. ladies? Are you, are, you, are you multitaskers? I'm very passionate about the subject of you are. women's rights, absolutely. And yes. what about confetti? Uh, that is something that I would not probably be the best person to... Have you ever yet. tried confetti made out of jelly beans? Never. Now, these... Yeah, that, I don't like that idea. No. no. Because the pellets and are hard and uh, they wouldn't last in the weather. They I'm get sticky in the sun. This idea. Yes, you're trying very hard. We have a few... Um, minor debates in our in our business. Uh, but we get along fine. Yes, anyway, perfectly fine. Best friend, best of friend. Best of friends. Best of friends. Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Well, that's our bad. And of course, our, our devoted love for our husbands. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hockey, self-boxing. Yes, yes, yeah. Yay. <laughs> this and that, you know, we're always yeah. running up and down in the morning. Oh, yeah. Can't even make us a cup of tea. No, it doesn't make any tea. But I'm, I'm not sadly I'm not, not the husband that. that. Yeah. 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 Yes, incredibly lazy. Yes. But you know, I'm not for the next. No, I don't have to. No, no. I think it's fine. Yes. Outside. 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 Do you want to say outside? Yeah. Can you say outside? No. Outside. What would you say if you were on television? Hello, everybody. <laughs> Please come in if you like. <laughs> All right. Uh, welcome um, at uh, second day. Yeah, no, it's, it's all right. I can see this. Yeah, yeah. Um, welcome uh, for the second day of uh, Outside. It's a collaboration between Doxted TV, um, myself and the Blue Coat Gallery. And um, today we have some guests. Um, Mike is one of the guests. Uh, welcome. If you like, you can come and sit here. And I have Milo. Milo is also one of my guests. Hello. So, all right, I'll ask for a warm welcome for Mike and Milo. <laughs> He's tired. All right, okay. Um, hello, Mike, I saw you yesterday. Yep. Um, I asked you to come today um, mm -hmm. because um, I wanted to talk to you about your um, history. You've been... Uh, you're a person who has um, lived in Liverpool but been out and back in again. Uh -huh. um, can you tell us something about that? Um, well, the first time I left Liverpool was when I went to um, Portsmouth University in 1981. Yeah. Oh, sorry, 1980, yeah. yeah. Quite a long time ago. And then, obviously, with studying Spanish, I went to uh, Mexico after that. And I was in and out of Liverpool while at university. Yeah. And once, once I finished university, I went to live in Spain for five years. Then after that, in Turkey for 15 years. In Spain, where, where was that? In, in Spain? the north of Spain, um, in the Basque Country in Bilbao. Yeah. Do you know it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know it, yeah. yeah. Um, you told me there are almost uh, every city you've been in, there, there was a port or a sea. If you think about it, Liverpool, Portsmouth, Bilbao, Istanbul. Yeah. All of them ports. 
No, I didn't choose them consciously. It just happened that way. Yeah, except for Mexico. Except for Mexico, yeah. Yeah, all right. Um, do you know for yourself why it's it's like um, you you came back to Liverpool? What is it? I mean, lots of different reasons. Um, I was, uh, my mother was ill at the time, um, and my daughter wanted, well, needed to come and live in Liverpool, England, because although she was, um, I was the only English-speaking person really that she was with. Yeah. All the rest of her family was was Turkish, so it was a good opportunity for her to come back and, uh, and to come back. She wanted to speak English. Yeah. Well, she could speak English, but with an American accent. Really. Yeah. Watching too much television. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> and you couldn't correct her? No, I tried. Really hard? <laughs> uh -huh, very hard. Okay. Uh, back home, you, you spoke English uh, together or you spoke Turkish? It, uh, in the house, we always sp spoke in English, but uh, you know, unless there was somebody in, in with us that didn't speak English, yeah. in which case it would have been um, not, not really on to, to speak in yeah. a language they didn't understand. And and you chose Liverpool to come back to, and not and why not any other city or? Um, because I had family here, so there was you know, the the first thing you do when you live abroad um, is to go to somewhere like London. I would have had to left first, go to London, find a job, find a place to live, and then call mm -hmm. the family over. Whereas coming back to Liverpool was going to be easier because my family living here. Yeah. So more, more practical reasons than yeah. than. Because you love the city that much. Oh no, I mean I, I like the city a lot. I love, love coming back, but yeah, yeah. The, the initial reason for coming here would, would have been practical. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you would be on television, what what is something you would really want to talk about? Um, connected to Liverpool. Yeah, can be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd just like to say that it's, it's nice to see the city centre being renovated rejuvenated the way it has been the past few years. Um, it'd be nice to see some of the suburbs getting a, a makeover as well. You mean like it would be nice to see that it would happen or it already yeah, I mean, happened? There, there are parts of Liverpool which have been waiting quite a long time to, for uh, renovation work, restoration yeah. work. And it's nice to see, for example, some of the older buildings w which were lying derelict for a long time. Now there seems to be a, a concerted effort to do something about it yeah and and do you sometimes understand that some people don't want that that because of of the um, the change that they they are the ones who are uh, for example have to move do you understand that also or is it well I'm against people having to move it'd be nice to hmm? or maybe nice to have the best of both worlds yeah the renovation plus the well, community-based decision for restoration yeah so it has to start from from down under I would guess so, yeah. But yeah. then it's not in anybody's hands, really, is it? I don't know. Mm, unfortunately. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, you could kind of uh, go on the streets and say, no, we don't want this. You can do. Yeah. yeah. Do you think in Liverpool, if, if you uh, protest, does it help to protest? Um, eventually, Yeah. I hope. <laughs> so you need a long protest. Sometimes you do, yeah. Yeah. But um, so y you know the city for a long time. Uh, you know since the toxic riots, etc. It's been mm -hmm. a lot been going on. Um, did you join a protest during uh, the whole lifetime in um, Liverpool? Not in Liverpool now, but in uh, in Portsmouth, yeah. Yeah, and why was that? Um, because they were, ironically, they were going to knock down some old parts of the uh, really? port. Yeah. <laughs> which I was against. Yeah. Why is that? Because they were just going to build a shopping centre, which Portsmouth at the time, I, I believe, still didn't need. A shopping centre? Uh-huh. But they were going to do away with some, I wouldn't say historic buildings, but they were old and they were nice. Yeah. yeah. Although a little bit decrepit, a little bit. And uh, do, you, do you sometimes understand the argument of, of like, um, um, government people or companies saying, well, we create jobs by doing so and it will be better for everybody? Um, now you get into politics. Yeah, um, kind of. Well, it's, I, mean, I, I would argue that, that unless they can give a guarantee that the jobs are actually going to be local, mm -hmm. then what's the benefit? Yeah. Um, and what about uh, Albert Docks here? Uh, 
that being restored, I think, is great because um, I saw it, you know, as I was leaving Liverpool to go to Portsmouth. The state that it was in then was just all the windows broken, it was derelict, it wasn't getting used. Yeah. And today, okay, I mean, I can't afford to go and eat there, but it's nice to see. It's, yeah. it's much better looking than it used to be. Yeah. What's your favourite place right now in Liverpool? Home. Home? Yeah. Inside? Uh, no, sorry. Um, I don't really <laughs> go out much, sorry. <laughs> I don't really go, go out much, um, once a month maybe, so. Yeah. So there's not a special place for you here in Liverpool? I like the, the Hope Street area at the top, yeah? top end. Why is it? I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's quiet I suppose. I'm yeah. old you see. I'm not, well, and you, you don't look that old. My disco days have long gone. <laughs> You're still going to pubs? Um, quiet pubs, yeah. 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 Has, have to be quiet. Yeah. They're quite loud here in, in Liverpool, I think, also. Yeah, yeah. Can, this area here. Yeah. yeah. Especially. It's hard to talk to each other then. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. And um, I believe the, the night time also has changed, that the closing time of, of the pubs, that uh, from, it used to be like 11 or. How, how's that? I think if you can't about strictly a pub, then it's at 11 o'clock is usually the last orders, uh, yeah. unless they get a special license. Clubs are different. You've got lots of clubs up in this area here, which yeah. are open till early hours of the morning. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, you, you've been a teacher? Uh-huh. You've been also a teacher here in Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah? Teaching in an adult community learning centre in Crosby. Uh, and uh, now you're not doing it anymore? Yeah, yeah, still Yeah, you it, still yeah. do it. Yeah. And that's in the evenings? D uh, daytimes, evenings, sometimes weekend. And, and um, the groups you're teaching, are they diverse or are they kind Very of... Very diverse, can range from, you know, people who are maybe pensioners, mm -hmm. um, just want to, you know, do something with the mind. So, uh, people who are unemployed, need qualifications. Um, I also teach English to foreign people. Yeah, and how's that? Is that hard to, to teach, or is it? It's it's much what my career has been. You know, mm. since I left university, I've been teaching uh, abroad. Yeah, and I'm I'm just teaching similar kind of thing, but in Liverpool. Yeah, do they also bring in stories of how they live, how they, or is it difficult for them to come to Liverpool? Um, I mean. For some of them, I, I know for the fact that it is difficult because of the places, the kind of places that they work in. And what's uh, that? In the, they work in some cases factories where they work long hours, sometimes 10 hours a day. Here in Liverpool? Here in Liverpool. And what kind of jobs uh, do they get? Just working in a factory, packing food. Yeah. That kind of thing. And it's still hard to do for 10 hours. It can be. Some of them are luckier than others, I suppose, but... Yeah. People are under the impression, say, that foreign people come here to work and, oh, look at them, you know, they're working, but the kind of places that they work in are not always nice places. Yeah. From my experience of what, they, you know, working with them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you already. Uh, Milo? Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Yeah. You wanted to be on television today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to say on television? Um, speak a bit louder. Do you want spooky things? Yeah, you go. Spooky things. What? Spooky things. He wants to talk about spooky things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> do you like spooky things? Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you like most? Um, zombies. Zombies. Have you ever seen a zombie here in Liverpool? Yes. Yes? <laughs> How did he look like? Um, like my mum. Oh, <laughs> cheeky. Like, like his mum. <laughs> All right. Um, I would like to, you, you were here yesterday, so can I uh, sit next to you for a second? Um, if you would be on television, um, is there something you would like to say? Yeah, hello to the audience. <laughs> it, was, it was really a pleasure yesterday to be in front of such a spontaneous kind of meeting. Yeah. The interesting people. So uh, I'm not from Liverpool, so it's kind of really interesting 
uh, way to understand things about uh, Liverpool history. Yeah. Where are you from? Italy. From yeah. Italy? Yeah. And you come, you've come here for the biennial? Yeah, just for the biennial. Yeah, okay. And did you know anything about Liverpool before? This is my second time, so I'm quite familiar, but absolutely I need to know more. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's if, when you come I to. I know museums and galleries, you know, and yeah, the field of uh, art, so it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. my business. Okay. So uh, when you come to biennial, you probably do other uh, art um, biennials, etc.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in Documenta like uh, two months ago. Yeah. Is it, do you feel there's a big difference between Liverpool and Castle or uh, like say Venice for you to go to? Yeah, lots of difference. First of all, the dimension of the exhibition, mm -hmm. Documenta is much bigger and even in historical terms, uh, they started in the 50s, uh, 1955. Uh, this is quite a recent biennial, and Venice Biennial is the oldest one in the world. So, mm -hmm. uh, but it's a good, good uh, young biennial. I think it's one of the best in terms of uh, uh, internationality, uh, feeling, mm -hmm. uh, nice people. <laughs> yeah. Do you think like um, uh, a biennial um, like one like in Castle could also happen here? Do you think that's a possibility, or so do you think? Uh, no, uh, sorry, the documenta. Oh, again. <laughs> Um, so, do you think that it's, um, it's possible to do this also here in, in Liverpool? Absolutely, there's no difference in terms of uh, uh, hospitality and venues and it's just a matter of inviting good artists like Dora Garcia or <laughs> <laughs> and having the right venues to... Uh, to <laughs> 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 I'm a great fan of her work, so yeah. this, is, this is the right spot for outside uh, yeah. as a as a concept, so I really like the intimate quality of this intervention. Yeah. The small size, but intimate and uh, intense. Yeah. <clears throat> Even if, you know, in spectacle. Mm. Okay, thank you. Um, if you would uh, be on television, um, if... Um, Me, myself. Yes. Is there something you would like to say on television? I don't watch television, so I would like to see myself on television, but I don't watch it, so I wouldn't want to see myself on television. So, but, <laughs> <laughs> but then you would know, of course, that there's um, uh, an audience looking. Um, th would that change something for you? Um, like, in, instead of a personal talk or a personal um, a conversation? Um, so you have an audience. Is there something special you would like to say to, to many people? Well, I, I come from South Africa, from Joburg, and I guess perhaps I will choose a topical issue from, from that context yes. um, to raise awareness. And, and I think uh, at the moment that would be um, hate crimes uh, against uh, um, uh, homosexual people, bisexual people, intersexual people and that's something and that's happening right yeah. there's something that's happening uh, a lot right now and, and um, there's not enough attention for it um, I mean there is enough there is attention uh, and the there are protective laws um, you could even perhaps think of it as a, a hyper visible uh, subject um, but at the same time, the government is not really saying anything about the hate crimes that are happening there mm -hmm. uh, publicly. Okay. Uh, you've come here for the biennial? Yes. Okay. Uh, as a professional or just as a visitor? or? Um, as a professional, I have a, a visiting arts scholarship, so it's my f second time in Liverpool. Second time in Liverpool. Um, was that two years ago? No, it was uh, in March, April this year. Um, oh, you've been here like in March? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what do you think of Liverpool if you compare it to, to your home country? Um, I, 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 uh, nothing is comparable to my own country. Um, I mean, uh, when I came for the first time, I, I, I didn't know much about Liverpool. I mean, we s tend to know more about the soccer team. Um, um, Are you a football uh, fan? Uh, uh, yeah, I am. I used <laughs> to play. <laughs> um, but 
I, I am not. I mean, I like big cities, but I'm not so much in uh, in uh, in cities like London or New York. Um, and I just, you know, I, I wanted a space where that I can allow myself to think and, and be productive. And Liverpool was the pace. You know, I like the pace. Um, as an escape, of course, from Johannesburg, um, it kind of works for me for a month, and then I think I don't know if I can do more than that. So a month here, and then you go back to to Johannesburg. You mean like a month, and this space is really good for you? Yes, yes. Yeah. It's like London and and um, Johannesburg. They have this this space. What does that mean? It everything goes faster, or or. Relatively, I mean, Johannesburg is big in South African terms, um, in London and in England terms, and New York in, in American terms. But Johannesburg is the biggest city, so it has a kind of a, a fast-paced life. Do you think, like, um, you were talking about hate crimes, and, and um, so this the kind of discrimination towards people, like gay people, uh, probably also black people. Do you think that's also is still possible here in Liverpool? The discrimination? Yes. Uh, I think it's possible anyway, mm -hmm. um, uh, in, in varying degrees, of course, but uh, I think it's uh, it's happening everywhere. Not not only is it possible, but it is. Is this something uh, also you do uh, for yourself because you're talking about the awareness? Um, is it something you look at, for example, in Liverpool? You want to find out if that happens or? or oh no, no, no. I, not really. All right. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> um, Gould, would you like to come and sit with me for a second? <laughs> Yes. Oh, really, Milo? Oh, <laughs> I was too quick for you, Milo. Do you want to talk to me a little bit longer? If you're asking the question about um, what would you put, watch on TV or what would you put on TV, he's got an answer. Okay. What do you watch on TV, Milo? Um, mm, Power Rangers. The what? The Power Rangers. The Power Rangers. And what do the Power Rangers do? Um, they fight. They fight? Yeah. And uh, they fight against what? Baddies. Against the bad? Baddies. Uh, baddies. Oh, yeah, yeah, against the baddies. And, and how do the baddies look like? Um, they look bad. They In look what bad. Um, what do the Power Rangers look like? Good. How many of them are there? Six. There's six names. Power Rangers. Yeah. Can you tell the names? Yeah. Do you know the names? Jaden. Jaden. Kevin. Kevin. Mike. Mike. Emily. Emily? Yeah. Um, Mia. Mia? Yeah. Um, and Antonio. Antonio. Okay, and the bad guys, what do the bad guys do? Um, they fight the Power Rangers. They fight the Power Rangers, that's why they're bad, of yeah. course, and that's why the Power Rangers are good, because they're fighting against the others. But the Power Rangers win. They always win? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to talk about anything else? No. Michael Jackson? No. Okay. You don't want to talk about Michael Jackson? No. No? What's your favorite <laughs> song favorite. of Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm. Speed Demon or Three? Bad. Criminal. You know I'm bad? Say quickly. Um, black or white. Black or white. That's your favorite song? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You like the video clip? Which? Of black, or of black and white? Black or white? It is, right? No. Is it black and white or black or white? Black or white. Yeah, you know better. Did you like Michael Jackson? Mm. Yes. Yeah? You think it's sad that he died? Yeah. Yeah? Did you cry? No. No? Okay, that's <laughs> he, was only, he was only just born, I think, when Michael Jackson died. Or he was only one. Oh, really? Okay. Thank you, Milo. If you still want to say something to me, you definitely can. Is okay. that all right? You just have to do like this. Book. <laughs> yeah.
but not too hard though. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to turn to Gul. Hi, Gul. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, you are uh, originally from Istanbul. Yes. yes. Um, and you're living in, in Liverpool right now? Yeah. I okay. Um, can you, can you, um, um, how long you've been living here in, in Liverpool? Seven years now. Seven years, Seven, okay. Yeah. Um, would you go, want to go back to, live, uh, to Istanbul? Uh, that is a difficult one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why? Don't know. It's uh, because it's not up to me now, because we've got a daughter, so mm -hmm. I, I want to be close to her. Yes. So it depends on, depends on where she wants to live. So. Yes. So it's I think I would like to live both places, Istanbul and Liverpool. Yeah. What's for you the, the biggest difference between Istanbul and, and Liverpool? Uh, the scale, it's being a big city mm -hmm. and uh, maybe um, local localization. So in Liverpool, it's, everything is local. People watch local television, people mm -hmm. know the local heroes. Um, uh, it's kind of like a, it's there is something in local, being local, being belong to Liverpool, mm -hmm. but in Istanbul you don't feel that way. Yeah. So there are every um, people from everywhere, um, Turkish, Kurdish, um, or foreign. There is no local feeling. I, but um, to my experience here in Liverpool, there's like a, a big range of communities yes. diff from yep, different of people. Course. Yes. But you still mm -hmm. find them very local. Yes, I think. And and you know maybe yeah? because if I w I, I would live in not Istanbul in another state, I w would be the same feeling. Mm -hmm. But in Istanbul, you don't feel that you you don't watch any you don't read local newspaper, you don't watch local news, and um, you don't have anyone you can you can say a role model mm -hmm. or. Um, kind of like a well-known people. It's, uh, when you ask people, they will say where they are from. But it's not like from Istanbul, it's not like from Liverpool. Yeah. Is it, would you say that um, the people in, in Liverpool um, are better uh, integrated, that they are uh, more dealing with the local community than...? than I think not uh, with the people, because it's... Uh, uh, because it's a small city, and uh, I think um, the integration is more um, easier than Istanbul. I think because uh, everyone knows what is happening, so it's you, you became familiar, you became more interested in what is happening in the city. Mm -hmm. But Istanbul is so big city, it's like 15 million the other day we were talking. So it's a, you, you, people, even there is a hero, there is a role model, it's just get lost in somewhere. Yes, yes. Okay. And the problems is bigger problems, and uh, uh, it's not like in Liverpool, you might say in the news, uh, TV news, there is a little girl, uh, something did, mm -hmm. and everyone uh, can in, uh, interest, or someone sick in the local community. In Istanbul, you can't see this kind of news, you can see more national and international, yeah. what is happening around the world. Mm. But like, for exa example, you had here the, the riots, like also last year. Yes. Um, so are, th are these things that also happen in Istanbul, or is this, uh, would you call this more like typical uh, for, for Liverpool I or England? We have different problems, not riot, mm. but um, I don't think in Istanbul, even they uh, live in the some community, they live in difficult conditions, they live in slums, we mm. have a, a poverty, but uh, I don't think we will see a um, riot in Istanbul. I mm. don't know why, but yeah, yeah, I don't course, think that maybe because of um, our living condition is, conditions is very difficult. If you got involved in a, any crime, it's your life will finish. Uh, I can see in England there are um, different opportunities. People don't have that fear like um, in, uh, like in yeah, Istanbul, yeah. So there's more fear uh, for yeah, getting involved with any kind of uh, 
betting or like a riot yeah. uh, in our, our of, uh, young people they've got lots of problem but they are afraid of um, uh, doing something wrong because they always mm. think their future yeah. I can see in Liverpool young people and some young people there are uh, there's some difference in, in this point yeah. because they are more interested in um, the building their future even they, they are not happy with the way they are living, uh, their economic financial situation. So in Istanbul, uh, you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. in Istanbul. Because when you talk Istanbul, there is one Istanbul uh, you can see in TV program or mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, TV drama film is beautiful Istanbul. But we have slums. When you go there, uh, you, you can't believe you are actually in Istanbul. Uh, but uh, those people, I, I don't think they will come and do that kind of things, right? Okay. They, they, they would like to live in behind, behind the scenes. They don't want to, to be seen, maybe. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, and and uh, the living conditions between uh, Istanbul and here, uh, you live around yes. the corner here? Yeah. Um, is it a big difference between the way of life? I mean, just physically, um, how you you are in the city? Uh, at the moment, um, I uh, because I was uh, from Istanbul city center and I live in Liverpool city center. Mm. Uh, there are there's not much difference. But before I was living in the north Liverpool, and there was a lot much difference. The way people. Um, uh, for example, um, Olympics. Four years ago, I was here for during Beijing Olympics, and in our neighborhood, no one was interested in. So I was thinking, okay, it's in Liverpool, but people is not for the sport or anything. Now I live in the center, maybe because Olympics in London, and mm -hmm. everyone uh, was uh, talking about the Olympics. So it's. Uh, uh, I can see it's familiarity living in Istanbul and Liverpool, or maybe um, because I live in the center now. Yeah. But I, I was um, Hope Street Festival uh, today. I yes. enjoyed uh, in Istanbul this kind of uh, uh, local or street festival. It's only uh, just the close neighborhood would would know about it, and. Uh, not like this. Uh, if you talk 10 people, maybe one or two people, they will know about the top street, what yeah. is happening. In Istanbul, uh, there is no such feeling. Okay, and what was the Hope Street Festival about it today? It was really nice. I, I enjoyed it. And uh, I want to tell it like a biennial, like uh, all the museums mm -hmm. and like festivals. Uh, all three festivals in like Istanbul, I don't think in Paris. I've been in Paris. I, I, uh, stay there. I don't think you can find such a like a uh, festival that people just pop in and go out, come back yeah. uh, without spending any money or making any program. I think this is advantages of living in Liverpool. Ah, okay. And now the Hope Street Festival. Yeah. Uh, you said it was very nice. What is the Hope Street Festival? I don't know it. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's uh, Hope Street is a a, a famous street. Uh, yes. It's one side in Catholic Cathedral, the other side in uh, Anglican Cathedral, so kind of like a hope between uh, two religions. That's yeah. what my interpretation maybe is yeah. different. So there are uh, it's kind of like a cultural quarter, uh, uh, lots of uh, stalls and uh, stages, music, and I was in Philharmonic uh, Hall. Yes. It's kind of like a celebration. Oh, okay. That's was nice. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, um, let's see. I think I will try to get somebody from outside to get inside. <laughs> Just a second. Uh, yes? Is, uh, Hi, Cecilia. Uh, yeah, in, uh, she's just recently been in Istanbul. I think she will uh, uh, compare better than me, isn't it? <laughs> So, yes. Cecilia, you have to answer this one. Is there a big uh, difference for you, or can you, like what you've heard, is there a um, different uh, experience for you, Istanbul, than Liverpool? Um, yes, I think it's, it's very different, but 
there's something of the spirit that feels the same, which is why I love Istanbul and I, I love Liverpool. I came to Liverpool 12 years ago, um, having lived in London, and I was going to study in London, and I came up and made a snap decision to change kind of my course of life and have been here ever since. I've been to Istanbul four times, and it's had the same reaction on me in the feeling that I want to live there. So there's something in common, but I don't know if that's just because it, that dwells within me. Um, but it has a vibrancy, um, an element of chaos um, that is this, I have a, we have a joke in with my friends in Istanbul, we say same, same, but different. And that's kind of the only way I can describe it. So you mean like same uh, Istanbul, same uh, Liverpool, but different? Yes. Yeah. I can't really, we just, if we can't describe something and say it's same, same, but different. So there's right. something, but maybe there's not the words or the vocabulary to, to kind of put your finger on it. So um, yes, I always speak to Ghoul before and after I go, um, and she's recommended places. But um, the first time I was staying, I was staying with a friend. I didn't realize that it was like, literally around the corner where Gould grew up and her family so the next time I went back um, I would go and try and see the streets um, so yes it's 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 an amazing city and there is the truth of what Gould said of the romance you know the Hagia Sophia the Blue Moss the sort of beauty um, but that's uh, I think that the western interpretizer you know romanticizing that mm -hmm. kind of east-west yeah. element um, but there's a very normal, gritty, difficult side. And I think I went and I was working with artists, so I went in to see the sort of more political struggles rather than went as a tourist for the first time. And that always changes your perception of a city because you go with the local people to their local places rather than, you know, up and down Istiklal and all the tourist places. So I haven't even been to the main tourist sites even on four trips. But you did see the sea, I guess? I did, yes, and yeah. I, I sailed on the sea, actually. A friend who um, is a professional racer hired a boat, and that was amazing. I sailed out on the sea of Marmara and came back, and that was romantic because you sailed up to, to you know, these amazing sites. Yeah. So. All right, and would you do this here in Liverpool, go sailing? Yes, I, I'm trying to. I've just found out somebody said that a friend of theirs has a boat and sometimes they're looking for crew. So I've said, please, if, if he really is serious, I will come and be a skivvy on the boat and do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, uh, please come in if you like. Yes? Be good to have the Yasmin, who is girl, uh, girl's daughter yeah. as well. Okay. Dual All right. Well. Yasmin, would you like to come and say something? <laughs> yeah. So, I, I, for those who don't know, I'll, I'll present Yasmin. Yasmin is the daughter of Ghul and Mike. Mike was the first uh, uh, guest here today. Um, Yasmin, so you heard your father and, and yeah. your mother. Um, does it surprise you uh, the way they talk about Istanbul and, and Liverpool? Not really. I mean, they do have similarities, but to me, like the lady over there was saying, the paces of different cities are so different. Like in Istanbul, you have to, you don't talk to anyone, you don't linger, you walk really fast, and whereas Liverpool, you can relax and take your time. And, I just think they're very different. I don't agree with them at all. I think they're very <laughs> different. <laughs> but um, the pace, um, you work here or you study here? Um, I study here and I actually work sometimes mm -hmm. a little bit. So, so and, and uh, when you were living in, in Istanbul, you were until 12 years old, am I, am yeah, I right? Yeah, I was 12 yeah. when we moved. Yeah, so uh, perhaps um, as a child it's different of course then you don't have or you can't go on your own in yeah. the city or did you go on your own with friends not really i mean i did see less of istanbul than what my mum and dad did but mm. you know I, I can still compare i went every summer up, up until two summers ago so i saw a lot of it yeah and there's no lingering there is i still want to go every summer but um mm. it's just different opportunities really yeah and in what way? What do you mean with opportunities? Sometimes I might not have the time to go or, you know, finances and everything, so... I don't, I don't understand. So 
to go to Istanbul, back to Istanbul, I mean, for uh, yeah, yeah. holidays. And yeah, but I mean like different uh, opportunities. Would you like, for example, um, if, you, if you can choose uh, between Istanbul and Liverpool, where would you want to stay? Sydney. Sydney, neither. Sydney, in neither. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> it's just my favorite city. Really? You've been there before? No. <laughs> uh, okay. No, only in spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I can, I can yeah. relate to that. So, yeah, neither. Yeah. I don't think I'd carry on living here either. I mean, once I've finished my studies, I'll mm. probably move away somewhere. And do you have any idea where your parents will live if you will go to Sydney? Not with me. Yeah. Not with me. <laughs> <laughs> They cannot join you <laughs> to Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you heard the story of your father also. Um, yeah, yeah. Was there any surprise for you in, in that story? Kind of. I mean, he doesn't really speak about his, like, I don't know, early years with me. But, um, yeah, so it's interesting because obviously he's always lived by the sea and the coast mm -hmm. and somewhere with water and with Me Mexico. I don't know. He still has very fond memories of Mexico. It's just... I don't know, perhaps it didn't feel right for him to be so away yeah. from the coast. And you know that Sydney has water too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm kind of similar like that, but I haven't really lived like like him. I haven't moved places. I've only been with my mum and dad, so it's not like it's been my choice. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see in the future. Come back to me in 50 years, see what I've done with my like life. Like five zero years or 15? Yeah, 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm not sure if I could do this. <laughs> I'd probably be very old then. Yeah, <laughs> probably, <Yeah>. probably. <laughs> or not existing anymore. No, you'll live 100 years. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> um, about Istanbul, um, your memory uh, of, of Istanbul, so until 12 years old, um, was it for you also a very busy city as a child? Oh, yeah, definitely. Everywhere mm. you go is just packed and crowded, but I don't know, growing up there you do get used to it and you don't notice it after a certain mm. time. Is it, do you think it's like a big difference for a child, um, like say from 10, 10 years old, um, to 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 uh, live like in Istanbul or in Liverpool, do you think there's a big difference for for the child? Yeah, I think so because I don't know. I was always at home, and if I went anywhere, it was with an adult. Mm -hmm. So I think if I went there now, I could really explore the city on my own and have like my own vision of it, different from what I had when I was twelve. So yeah. But um, I mean, like for a child here, in, is, do you know if there's like different rules for children to be on the street? Uh, like no. In the no. same? The same. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just going to check on the time. I'm going outside. Just going to try to get uh, one person inside just to have a small uh, talk. Just bear with me for a second. So let's see. Sorry? No, no, it's not raining. Oops. Excuse me, could I ask you a question? We're in a, a kind of a talk show and I, I go outside and inside and just ask some questions. Is that okay for you guys? Yeah. Yeah? Would you like to come inside just for a second? Us? No, actually really simple questions about Liverpool. Okay. Uh, because we're doing this kind of talk show and street TV also okay. about Liverpool. Um, is it okay if we do it inside? Yeah, sure. Yeah, then, then the cameras, it's like recorded on, on, um, on this and on, on camera. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. All right. So what's your name? Isaac. Isaac. And your name is? My name is Arlowin. Arlowin. <laughs> Please come in. <laughs> Didn't expect this one, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, Isaac and Arlowin, you, you're both from Liverpool? Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. So you came here to visit? Well, I go, to, I go to uni here. All right. Yeah. What do you study? I study music. Music? And, and, and what kind of music? Um, mm, I'm a singer, so I like sing pop and the different type of genres. Yeah. yeah. And this is a special school, uh, school for, for, for... Yeah, it's um, Paul McCartney's um, yeah, like Performing Arts Institute. Oh, really? Yeah. So, and does he teach also? In no, he comes like to do master class and stuff. Oh, really? 
yeah. So you've seen him before? Yeah, I've seen him before. Yeah. Is yeah. he a nice guy? He's a good guy, yeah. Nice yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good singer? Yeah, he's a good singer. Yeah? Yeah. He's I good mean, style as well. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And you, you, uh, you, you came to visit your girlfriend? No, I'm studying sports science in UCLAN, in Preston. And that's, is that far from here? Because I'm not from around here. It's about 40 minutes. Oh, all right. And, and you live here now in, live as here, a yeah. student and you live up yeah, there? Preston, yeah. Yeah. And, and you come here often? Uh, I only started last week. Ah, okay. So, so it's your first week. Yeah, I came down here for the weekend. Yeah. It's your first time here in Liverpool? No, I came a couple of other times. Yeah. When Alwyn was in university. Yeah. And what was your first reaction when she was going to study here? Oh, no, or, yeah, right, Liverpool, so I can go? Yeah, a bit of both, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> like, I come here, you can come to socialise, and it's, yeah? it's a really nice place. Yeah, you've got a lot of friends here? Um, not really, mostly Alwyn's friends. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple of friends. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, thank you for, for uh, joining us for a second. No problem. All right. Yeah. Thank you. If you would be like uh, have a chance to go on television, what would you like to? Is there something you would like to say or do or perhaps sing? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to sing a song for us? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a difficult question. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. My you, wanna, God. you can choose one. What? A, one. She's a really good singer. Oh my God. I can't sing, so I. I if you really need someone as a back choir kind of, it's then you should ask Isaac because I can't do it. Mm. <laughs> and you sing. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, did, oh, sorry. sorry. Did you have um, like an exercise you've done uh, at school, like uh, last week, or uh, a song you had to sing? You can like um, you've been practicing. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's really awkward. Um, sing Adele, good. Adele. Adele? Yeah. Okay, oh my god, this is so awkward. You want to sit down or...? or no, it's you okay, want I'll, to, just yeah? do it. I'll just do it. <laughs> All right. Um, oh All right, I'll just move a little bit like this. Okay, this is really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've heard that you've settled down, that you've found a girl and you're married now. I've heard that your dreams came true Guess she gave you things I didn't give to you Oh friends, why are you so shy? Ain't like you to hold back or hide from life I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away, I couldn't fight it. I hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. That's it. Wow. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> so. It was nice, it was it? Yeah. You're lucky. I say I have, I have you're in um, college, right? So yeah. for sports? Yeah. I, I have a question also, um, okay. but this is, uh, there was an interview we've done on the street and there was this woman, she was saying um, there's not enough exercises, um, fitness exercises for older people, elderly people on this mm. uh, television. Could you suggest us um, a kind of a movement for elderly people on television? For elderly people? Yeah, something like an exercise, like like imagine like a 10 o'clock program and then all the people are watching and then you have to kind of you ha you should be able to do this or i don't know something like that uh, a kind of a fitness exercise for 60 plus um god <laughs> caught me on the spot <laughs> yeah i'm sorry uh, getting out and about and walking maybe you know yeah that's always good, not sitting on the couch and yeah. watching the and, time and, go by. And a movement that they, for example, you know, like this, or Touching is this toes, good for, yeah, yeah is that good? Stretching yeah. is yeah. good. And Anything get else? Get joints moving. Um, get the joints moving? Yeah. How do you, like, like joints, you mean like this is the joints? Yeah, stretching your joints. And, and how, like, like this or like this? Yeah. Grabbing Perhaps this is <laughs> really difficult for all the people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Swimming. Swimming. Um, what? Swimming. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's difficult for you to show on television, of course, how to swim or will you yeah. uh, with this? Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but that's, that's fine. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much. And, and come inside. No problem. Thank <laughs> you very much. All right. Yeah, if you want, you can stay. We just. Oh, thank you. This is <laughs> it's actually part of the biennial okay. uh, and this is uh, one of the, um, the pieces here and it's called Outside and this is a talk show right now but during daytime we go out on the street and try to interview people okay. for Liverpool and just to get to know the people of Liverpool and what they're interested in etc. Okay, oh. cool. Yeah. Okay, thank you so very much. Thank you. All right. No problem. All right. Okay, bye guys. Give my regards to uh, Paul. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. bye. All right. Thank you. So this was um, the outside. Um, I'd like to thank again the people from Toxta TV uh, and the people from the Blue Coat and the Biennial for, um, for helping us out to, to achieve this. Thank you very much. You can see all the video work on uh, the website, which is called newsfromoutside.co.uk.